Beginning podcast. Welcome back, podcast number eight, week eight for me, week four on Swift, and we've got what we'll call you technical director. <laughs> yeah, stream manager maybe. Yeah, uh, Mark, we've got Mark yeah. joining us. Yeah, yeah. Just thought we'll have a bit of a chat about the week, how we've been getting on, and a bit about Swift. What about yourself last week? Any cycling? Uh, we bit of training. No, last week actually was a full week of nothing. I think it's actually hard to remember now because I'm up that early, jumping on the bike. Once it's done, it's done. I can't really remember. So I, say, I think I had a week of nothing last week. Actually, it's with the wife being sick and. But you still managed the live stream. Still managed to do the live stream. Yes, uh, I got the green light. I asked uh, that everybody wants to see this live stream. I don't want to let the fans down. Dedication. What was the numbers last week? We got. Good bit of chat. Uh, I think last week. Total, total numbers of views was something like 738 on YouTube, and then I think it was in around a three and four hundred on Facebook. Brilliant. At a guess. At a guess. Um, that was last we- that was last Wednesday, and then did a few spins myself. Managed to go on the mountain bike on uh, Sunday. You know, fix a couple of hundred repairs a week. Managed to get a puncture on my bike. Couldn't fix it. Had a phone the, the good wife there to come and pick me up. <laughs> Disaster. Still haven't touched the bike. Imagine a bike mechanic not being able to fix a puncture. I uh, know. No tire levers. And then put a photo on uh, social media. And a um, lot, of, lot of advice coming through. I oh, should be running the tube and you should be running this and you should be doing that there. And Yes. So there's nothing to do with cold hands, you know. <laughs> and then, yeah, I actually went to have a big tank on the back of the van and went to wash it. And uh, was driving down to the shop the other day with the, the tank <laughs> filled to the brim, 100 kilos. And uh, yeah, fell off. Bit of, a, bit of a rattle, bit of a flood there in, in the east. So there was. So yeah, bit of, a, bit of a disaster. Good week. Good week. And then when we got on to Swift then on, when was that, Wednesday night then? Yep. Um, many views that we have this week. Oh, yeah. This week we're down on views. And we're also noticed we're down on the live chat. Usually there's a good bit of chatting going on. Uh, it's maybe just down to more people racing, maybe. Yeah, more, more dedication. Yeah, but I think I checked this morning on YouTube. Overall views is 444. Um, not sure what Facebook was, but I think it was something like 138. Does Facebook give you much like stats and stuff? No, it just tells you views. That's it, pretty much. It's just a li- just live. No reason I've got Mark in today is because I went into my stats and and the biggest podcast so far is the one we did with Mark. So that's why we've got him back in again. It's all about networking. We're we're looking at a regular slot. Yeah, we're going to have to do something. Um, I had Thomas in last week. Big thank you to him. It went down really well, apart from uh, you probably still hear an echo here today. I'm still working on it. I've got the phone phone pads, I forgot to tell you. Um, Opened them up. They came flat flat pack and then opened them. I was like, geez, these are the wrong ones. I'm going to have to get new ones. Came in the next day and they were like three times the size. Yeah, that's right. They take a wee yeah. while to puff up. Yeah, I probably should have read the instructions. Uh, and you have a lawnmower going there at the moment? Yes, uh, my dad came around. He's looking after the kids because both of us are working. Well, I will be working once I finish this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he said, get that lawnmower out there and I'll cut the grass. So I was like, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Not going to refuse lawnmower that. Lawnmower out, streamer out. You work away there. Yeah, not going to refuse that. It's like my windows. Yeah, I just not. I don't have a window cleaner, but it's really even long enough somebody else to clean them. <laughs> the guy next door and uh on Sanders, he cleans them for me. Ah, <laughs> uh, cheers. Brilliant. So uh yeah, there's a few things the UCI released this week now. The, the super tuck is banned and elbows. Yeah, they're just they're just going to town. Bars. Yeah. Yeah. But the super tuck also not littering banned. as well. See, I always, always thought that that was a thing, but I think it must be coming down on it a bit more. Yeah, they're talking about starting this on the first of April, I think. Pros must have been so, allowed to. That's Greta Thunberg, Thunberg pitching in on it. So, yeah, um, yeah there's been a few things. So, happy. yeah, like the, the arrow tuck isn't going to affect anyone, in my opinion, here because there's no hills long enough really to get into the arrow tuck. I don't know if it's well, as, far, as far as I know, Cycling Ireland have banned that anyway. Yeah, that is a bit ridiculous. As well as the, the pup, what are they calling the puppy paws? Isn't that what yeah. they call them over the bars? And then wasn't there not wasn't there a set of handlebars that was released that was meant to be like the hoods were like an extra six inches longer to get it, get into the arrow tuck or something as well something like that yeah so all these things are happening yeah. but yet they're still allowing these crazy barriers and other things that 
aren't, you know, yeah. uh, they're just. I, I think they're trying to move towards idiots that are complete amateurs. Dennis, like I watched yeah. a video the other day on Facebook of a guy getting into a super tuck on like a dual carriageway. Yeah. And the minute he sets his arse on the top tube, he just goes clean over the bar. Yeah. And a 40 foot lorry then is coming as he rolls near close to it. You can maybe put that in this. Yeah, I'm trying to find Cheers on trying to have that. I'll try and throw that. Yes, that's yeah. a wee bit added for you. Put that in yeah. there. Yeah, I think, uh, it was I think that's he, what they're trying to do. I think it was whenever he tried the pedal, was it? it was yeah, the minute he started paddling, he just went whoop over the bar. Yeah. Like, but there's no hills here long enough that you're going into the super truck and kind of right away from the boys. The whole thing with the hands and the bars and the whole hoods. Like, I know, I know guys that I've been out in the bike with, and it's almost like they're scared to touch the hoods. They're like glass cranking, glass, you know. It's, it's like, I don't yeah. want to grip them too tight. And it's like, hold that bar. Are we going to bring the whole group down? Yeah. You know uh-huh. what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I can understand that. Because there was a whole thing with, like, teaching juniors not to put their hands up crossing the line. Yeah. And then it would it would phase down whenever you got a senior. You know. Th- I don't know how a, many videos have you seen of guys crossing the line with the hands in the air and the next minute the front wheel goes and they're just yeah. on the deck. Ter- terrible thing to worry about, women, and putting your hands up. like, you know what I mean? <laughs> So uh, yeah, th- that all got done, and then so let's talk about Swift because let's face it, it's the only thing happened Wednesday night. There was the London Classic, the three years commenting, and again, great job. Yeah, it went down pretty well. I uh, actually was in Tesco's this morning, and I bumped into oh, no. R- Rory from Apollo, and also Glen O'Brien was there as well. Oh, oh celebrity! It's the first, uh, yeah, celebrity. Yeah, it's the first thing we started talking about. Just well, what's Swift? What's the crack with Swift? Oh, brilliant! Yeah, so. It's going down good. So we're just trying to think each week you're doing something new. To talk so, about? Not to talk about, to sort of do, put on the screen. So I okay. suggested that the three of us go on video and it'll give people an idea of what, you know, I'm sitting in my work here, which is a shed in the back garden. Yeah. And them guys are in their houses. So it'll give them an idea of what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Ross has come up with another couple of ideas. So... We need to test that on Monday, so I'm not going to say what it is. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. No, I have, to, I have yeah. to think outside the box. I think this time yeah. last year, you know, nobody would have been phased by, you know, using Zoom and nobody would have wanted to do anything. And yeah. I think with the lockdown, everyone sort of used to Zoom. Like, like for instance, this year would have been, ah, I'm not, not keen on doing it. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it was good, good race now. Um, I you were going her- well. Oh, you have to for the TV crew, you know what I mean? You know when the camera's <laughs> on you and you have to ride off the front. Yeah, um, and you didn't even know that we were talking about you. So no, yeah. All I just started talking about you for some I don't know what it was, and then the next minute you decided to have a wee go and try and get away off the front. There was a few stalls on the last lap, and I was like, right, we're doing was a fifty four k, and I says, right, if I make an effort and try and hold fifty four k, there like I should right away. Got got the gap of one second when I heard it back. And yeah, um, one second. 54, 53, 52k. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm burning matches here. Because theoretically it comes down to a sprint every lap, every yeah. every every race. So you know anybody can sit in and, and, and ride the last 300 meters. Yeah, flat we're out. just looking for the red numbers. So yeah. Um so yeah, I give her a couple of digs like and I have I have started tra- training in the in the real world with the hill reps. Um and I had said oh. you know, the heart rate's not going where, where it used to be going now. Uh, she's just not going as high. That's old age cre- creeping in. Yeah, yeah. So, um, oh, oh, that's. But that, that like, rest week did you good? Yeah, if it hadn't been, if, like, let's face it, if it hadn't been for Swift at the moment, there's there's not much to really concentrate on. No, so and then sure heard yesterday on a well-known cycling website. Yeah, at the, they're talking about extending cycling lockdown. Yeah, to maybe yeah. May. Yeah, because we had thought of we'd sort of been looking at maybe run a winter league mountain bike thing, uh, yeah. like the XMTB Spring League, but it's going to be well out the window now. So, yeah, well, the kids definitely. aren't going back to school till after Easter, so we'll pa- pass that on. Yeah, if that's not extended any further again, I know. So Hard to know. Yeah. It's just a guessing game. So it was Seth Seth and Woody. He won yet again. Yep, Seth and Woody got the win. I think he's Orchard. Shelbourne, is that what they call themselves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, Sam Coleman again, same club, and then Lindsay Watson in third. Wonder if the two of them are on the same in the same room and sort of working mm. the sprint out. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Right, three, two, one, go. Go, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, could be something. Um, it could be on Zoom. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You never know. But yeah, one one two for them guys. 
Fair play, then that's three weeks in a row, so they're bound to be leading. I think Lindsay's not far behind, isn't that, isn't that right? Yeah, I haven't Points got twice. the overall in front of me. Actually, we had this all planned out last night, but Glenn had a technical, so I had all this info in front of me, which I, I don't know. have now. I have a clipboard and a couple of, couple of bullet points. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're going through them anyway. Right. But I think Ross is the handicaps nailed down now because um, it's 5-2-1. Got... and one. That's what it was on Wednesday. So yeah. five minutes to the C's, the D start, and then five minutes later C's. Two minutes after that B's and then just a minute between the A's and the B's. But yeah. if you have watched the stream back, the A's just were just steam yeah. train mode like just I think it's because it was flat and you know yeah. up, up that we rise, everyone was giving a dex in. And as Ross said afterwards, you know, that's not the place to attack, it's the, the, the hundred meters after it. Yeah. So it was. And um, yeah, because yeah, I was... think actually when we were watching Darnell, he had attacked the hill and then led off at the top. Yeah. And then the next minute, boom. That was him dropped, and he was, was pushing it? big numbers just to try and get back on. So that's how easy it is in Zwift just to get yeah dropped. You and know, it's dub- different. Double draft, isn't it? So it's hard to get double a- draft. I yeah. I don't know what sort of benefits you're getting with the double draft. I think it's trying to try keep groups groups together. You know. Yeah, I I think out of all the groups, the Sea Riders were doing the, the best job of staying together and working well. Because like I was following bunch. them on the screen, and there was nobody shooting up the road. They were just in a big bunch, and they were yeah. working. Well, we there. we caught a couple of ones and twos. Like you had mentioned, when I was catching Big Jerry's group, and he was on with, with two or three. Whether he got shelled or he was off the front, I think he was probably out the rear. Yeah, that that would be him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, again, another sprint finish. Uh, next week is New York. Outer next loop. week's New York. Yeah, outer New York loop. perimeter loop, and it's three oh. laps total distance twenty nine point eight. And it's like uh, as for handicaps, not sure yet. They haven't been released, or maybe they Ross's, haven't. Just haven't Ross's noticed. dad, or Ross's uncle Eric, used to run mountain bike races years ago, and used to give you each person their own handicap. Right. So, like the first race, you you went, and you finished fourth or fifth, and then the following week, you would have got like a one minute twenty five handicap. Somebody else would have right. got one minute thirty five, and it all came <laughs> down to the last lap. It was really, really well done. So maybe yeah, it worked is, out real well. Yeah. Yeah. Must be a blamey thing, just organising boys, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, maybe that's something to look, look forward to. But uh, another thing too, like you're talking about the guys winning first, second and third. Them guys were all on the same time. Yeah. I think the top four were all on the same time. And then from fourth to tenth, there was only a second. Yeah. You know, so it's that close. I was sick. Coming down to the you know tarwits. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I was sick. I threw, I sick, yeah. Went too early. Me oh, you did? Sp- yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you did the same last week as well, went too early. Just worried about the Wi-Fi dropping out, you know. But yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think anybody who's on Wi-Fi is panicking in case they get dropouts because you notice on the Facebook page, everybody goes, damn, Wi-Fi dropped out again. Wi-Fi yeah. again. Just get an Ethernet cable and get it plugged in. Yeah, that's what you'd recommend. So I went for the, I'm using the Apple TV in the, in the garage with uh, Ethernet plugged in and then using those plugs. Yeah, you're using the power line adapter. Yeah, 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 that's the next best thing. Yeah, this just that's sends that signal down the cables, the electric cables. It's the next best thing to actually having it properly plugged in. Yeah, because there was a few times there where I brought it actually into the living room on a Friday night. I was doing a couple of races on the big TV. Thought it, thought it was being smart, yeah. and then you realise there's a big oil line right up the living room. <laughs> so there is, you know, wife reason. Uh, big know big stripe up the sofa. No, well, she didn't find out about it, so I got it all cleaned up with the kids helping me in panic, you know. <laughs> oh, dear. So yeah. what's on the plans this weekend, uh, apart from snow? Snow here, yeah. So it's going to be a swift weekend, I would yeah. think. Um, Dougie Lanny, I actually had the info in front of me last night, but I've been trying to find it again. He's running, uh, he's calling it an after-party style yeah. meetup. On, I think it's 9 a.m. Sunday. Yeah, that's right. And he starts off at two watts per kilo for 15 minutes, then he bumps it up to 2.5 for another 15, and then three for a further 15. And then he says, just keep an eye on the screen for the three words of go, go, go. And then it's an all out race to the end. Put the pen out, away you go. Yes, just drop the hammer. See, that's what I so, um, Ross just, started off doing them, yeah. I think Ross did one last week. Yeah. Yeah, so. so that's something to him for on. Was that Sunday morning then? Nine o'clock? Sunday morning, nine AM, yeah. So thing to do there uh, be, get on the TUZ Facebook page or yep. to add Danny Lanny on the um Yeah. Companion app. 
Yeah, right. and then I think you just if you just put a shout out on the the Tuz group, he will then invite you to the raid. That's as far as I know. Yeah. So we're halfway we're halfway through the league. Yeah. Yeah, but that was round number four. So this Wednesday, round number five. Yeah. So we're yeah, getting there. Up to eight then, and then what's after that? We don't know what's gonna happen. So I was just asking, you know, what's gonna happen. So we're talking or I just threw it out that a summer league. But yeah, you know, there's been no no more talk about that. It's just sort of a suggestion. You, usually once the clock sort of changes, I mean boys can get out in their bike a wee bit more, but for that's that's my aim anyway. Yeah. And then turn the swift yeah, so... direct payment off, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was always one that used Trainer Road last year and the year before, so once the summer came, he just turned that off. Yeah. What's Trainer Road about? Opening like... it up again in the winter. So, What's Trainer, Trainer Road, Road? It's not, yeah. there's no visuals. It's just sort of you make your own thing. You make your own training schedule on it and just hit start it. and there you go. It, it was very good for structured training, but Swift, you can do that now as well. But also, you know, you've What's the other one? There, the... Man riding the bike. What's the other one that guys are using? There's, there's loads. There's, there's one Sufferfest. I have no experience with Sufferfest. What was the one the Tour de France? Uh, don't know the name of that one. I don't I'm think catching off guard. Look, I'm catching off yeah, guard. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Technical director. Yeah. Talk amongst yourselves there. Oh, it's, all, it's only me. <laughs> Sufferfest <laughs> might have visuals, actually. I'm just looking here on their website. And you can do a couple of different climbs and stuff on it. I um, Yeah. Like there's, a, there's quite a few... Uh, of the um, courses on Swift that I haven't even r- ridden yet. The, uh, is it the Tourmalay? No, not the Tourmalay, the Fontoy. I haven't ridden, ridden that. Yeah, I haven't done any of those either because usually with me, uh, I just type in what training I have for the day and hit go. And then it's just, it. just a random road. It doesn't matter because my trainers are adjusting to what I've told it to do. And then Saturday is usually a group ride. So I bounce in with SR, I think they're called, yeah. Swedish. Swedish okay. group, and there's always like five or six hundred people in the group, but it's between two point five and three watts per kilo, and yeah. the ride leader keeps you at that. You just follow the yellow beacon and yeah, right. talk yeah. away a bit of crack. It's brilliant. Top of the bars. Sunday the same. Just jump in group rides. But what time is this? Yeah, at? it's trying to get people. People think they're just going to sit in their in their garage. Usually seven a.m. I think they start at the weekend for the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, seven AM and it's a hundred Ks. But you can just you just do what you want, you know. Yeah. I usually do an hour and a half or two hours there's to the, pull the plug. There's the what's the the other ones that are called the virtual the virtual virtual rider, is it? I've done a couple of those and I've done the, the four watts per kilo one and it, it was it was quite tight. Yeah, so you follow the virtual rider for yeah, a set yeah. watts and per it, kilo, yeah. I haven't yeah. used that. But it actually gets harder you know so say you do two minutes in that bracket then it goes up like 1.5 percent yeah and it just gets tighter and tighter and then once you are unable to hold that then it resets right okay yeah they're, they're quite good so i get like a would, it be, of, would it be like a motor pacing on the road basically yeah yeah, yeah so you're actually able to get in in there but um yeah, yeah I've, done, I've done a couple of loops up and down airport road and it has been absolutely freezing um yeah Left the left the shop last night at about six and actually took my breath away. We bit outside. I was like, Jesus, I'm freezing. And I was doing yeah. my hill reps the other day there. Um, when it was yesterday morning, I actually rode with a, a merino vest on and a long sleeve gaba, and I unzipped it and put like the, the bio racer long sleeve over it. And I wasn't even still wasn't even sweating. It was that cold. Yeah. Or wasn't well, I have hard. to say, I got a bio racer jacket. I cannot remember. Can you remember the name? Something like Qatar, something, something to do with camels. It, it's it's very very expensive. Yeah, but I have to say it is excellent. Yeah, base layer and this jacket on, and I was out two weeks ago, and it was slightly snowing. It was freezing. Yeah, yeah. You know, like you looked at the garment and said minus six. Lovely, lovely. I was not cold. That thing was excellent, and then the gloves. I got a set of Madison. They're like avalanche, I think they're called gloves. Yeah, 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 yeah. I suffer from super cold hands, no matter what gloves I've tried. I had them on and I took them off, and my hands were hot. Brilliant. So, P-pay. shout out to them too. Bits of Items. Mm. Yeah, well, the bar racer stuff's good whenever you can get it. Yeah. Still waiting, on, still waiting on stuff from before Christmas. But uh, yeah, I was using the marino. On everything. I was using the marino wool on 
the gloves on Sunday and they filled with the latex. And because it was that cold, my hands yeah. were getting that cold, couldn't get the tires back on. They ended up just going massive <laughs> and just pulled them off. That was them going. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm taking today as a bit of a rest day. It's four days in a row now. I've been on the bike. A couple of boxes ticked. Yeah, I need, but... need to work on this heart rate. Yeah, it's trying to get consistency. Holy That's what I'm lacking at, at the minute. Things are just not going to plan. Whereas last year, not last year, the year before, or the year even before that, I was just super consistent the whole time. Whatever training there was to be done, it got done no matter what. Boxes Whereas tick, yeah. last year and the start of this year, there's just things happening that are out of my control. It came up my time hop there that about this time. Well, last time last year I was actually in Tenerife. The week before we went down to the Blitz. Yeah, bike and blitz. Yeah, the round one. What was round one called? I can't remember. Ball, was it Ballon the Stow? Round Ballon the Stow. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And we yeah. did it. And um, brilliant. That was my sort of first in brackets race after the, the sort of the back getting back in the shape. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah, and then we came back from uh, holiday and went and done another one. Had basically, a week in the drink went okay. <laughs> went okay for the first hour, and then yeah, and then and just exploded. Timmy Mallet came along and hit me and I was seeing stars. I remember you passing me and I'm looking at you going, huh? Yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, that, the, oh. them bike and blitz, the first two that we did were great, but just then COVID came and that was that scrapped. Yeah, yeah, it scrapped a lot of so, things. So. And by the, by the signs of things again, they'll not be going ahead. So, nightmare. Jeez, no, I don't know what's going to happen. So I've actually started investing a wee bit into the, into the cross and buying tubs and stuff, but I think there's a bit of a, going to be a bit of a shortage there. Yeah, well, sure, it's going to... Well, cross starts in September usually with Orangefield. Yeah. So, so tubs have the been way ordered. lockdowns are going. Wheels have been ordered. And then I was talking to my rep from Shimano, and he's, I'm trying to get a couple of parts just for even myself. And he's in November for Shimano parts. So, right. the plastic got hit hard there last week for uh, <laughs> some, a lot of stock, shall we say. Me and you went to a show last year in Madison, do you remember? And I yeah. put a bit of stock on the, on the credit card saying, that'll do me a couple of months, you know? And, geez lockdown kicked in and it was gone within the first few weeks just changing blocks or so yeah if you're looking at changing blocks guys stock up there's a couple of yeah, guys nobody are... was expecting everyone to start cycling yeah when lockdown happened um and just come april time last year it was like you had something like 100 bikes in the shop waiting for it to be geez, repaired the, the turbos were the big thing it was swift kicking off yeah. i actually ordered one couldn't get it and it was because huh? italy was on for lockdown so yeah, fingers crossed. We're, we're and there's still a shortage now on turbo trainers. Well, so I got an email the other day. They're now in stock. So if we're looking at a direct turbo, but I think the majority of cyclists now have, have a turbo. Even uh, Murray Sanders, she's still yeah. on her one. So we'll have to get her signed up for Wednesday night racing. <laughs> Murray told me he uh, yeah, yeah. he goes on the spin bike and halfway through it, he has to get off and change the LP. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's his Ready? routine. Does a bit of stretching, uh, changes the LP <laughs> and then goes again. So, uh, yeah, as you do. Looks good. Retro. So, yeah, um, that's that's pretty much the week wrapped up. We'll try and get on next that's week. Um, still debating whether to get people in here. There's been one or two people that are registered. I did order a cable that would let me phone people. We tried it last night and it didn't work. So we're still no. having technical issues. I have the internet ordered. Um, we that's to, another major technical issue with your internet speed yeah see this is I think Mark's the only person I can do a live call with because his internet's that good it's sort of boosting mine a bit you know yeah <laughs> so uh, yeah there's a couple of things lined up um, and apologies to the shoe doctor I think that's that's long gone so it is that's, I'll have to get maybe get him down or something um, but yeah we're we're, winning, we're in the right direction probably still hear this echo yeah no it's not too bad it's not too bad I've got the mics turned around this week um, Thomas was sort of having his way over, you know? facing the wrong way <laughs> basically yeah but uh, yeah stick with us guys and uh, if you can give us any ideas or what do you want me to talk about or anything like that there and uh, apart from Swift because that's anything to talk about at the moment and uh, a big thank you to Mark and uh, Fiona and Ross again for the commentating on Wednesday night good, good job and we'll catch you yep. we'll probably get down next week if, if I get good views on this one definitely I'm yeah. looking at a regular spot well, we've got the we've got the jerseys all in here, and we've got lights and all. So once once you're allowed to travel again, we'll get you back in here again. We'll give you a, a full roasting, yeah. you know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to work on my background. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's just full of laptops and parts. 
You see that the guy was on the news and he was a wee cat in, in the Zoom meeting. Can you turn it off? See, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was in a court meeting, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So uh, you do that there. You can put like a, a, a sign. Yeah, I'll change the background. Something. Somewhere sunny, like Tannerif. Yeah. But yes, cheers, guys. Um, uh, Mark, will probably catch you next week um, because we're still not allowed guests, so you can take it as a compliment, you know. <laughs> no cheers, man. Right, thanks, man. Bye. Beginning podcast.